Hello Zany friends, I'm Lainey. I'm Marshall. And today we have a video for you about what I am taking on my cruise. And last year, uh, my other side geek, Chris, and I did a video, oh maybe it was two years ago. Two years ago, uh, my side geek, Chris, and I did a video about what we took on our Disney cruise or what we're taking on our Disney cruise, like makeup and things like that. Um, but now, because I am going on a different cruise, Marshall is not going, um, but I am going on a seven day cruise um, on Princess for my mother-in-law's 75th birthday. And so I wanted to show you what we're gonna be bringing. Um, I did a lot of research as to the differences of that boat versus the one we went on for Disney, which was the Disney Magic. So I wanted to show you just some tips and some uh, things that we found out that you uh, might wanna know if you're going on your cruise. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Marshall will chime in every once in a while because He's not going, so he's, he's I'm going having out. a cruise of one right here <laughs> off the water. <laughs> he's going to like having some time by himself, I yeah, think. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to catch up on. Mm -hmm. So let's first start with uh, just this. Um, this is a little clutch that I plan on taking with me to uh, like meals and stuff, like the nicer meals. And inside I have a couple things. I have this little bitty wallet, and I cannot remember who made this for me, but if I will link it down below. This is actually a custom small wallet that uh, was made for me. And um, I also have this. This is sweetener. <laughs> it's a little thing I also got, but it's filled with Truvia, which is funny. And then the rest of it's empty because I haven't put anything in it yet. This is an RFID uh, purse. Uh, you can also use it to put your passports in. Um, I got it for review like a couple of years ago, and then I thought this is perfect. I can just take this with me to the meals, put in whatever I need to, and then be able to carry it around like a little wristlet. And then the other thing that I'm kind of also making it multitask is this. This is the outside of the planner for the pretty little planner from Too Faced. Um, and the inside of it is just like two pockets. So I thought this would be perfect. I put my passports in here and then I'll put my travel documents. So if you have one of these, you do not need to buy a travel document holder. Just use this perfect size and it's cuter. Yeah. Just staying. All right. So something else we wanted to get was a bag that we could take with us if we decide to get off the boat or if we're like going to the pool and we just want to throw a few things in. So we got this. This is actually a backpack um, inside of this. So it makes it very nice and compact. Well, like you can fast forward to that also. And there it is, there's the backpack. It actually is a fairly okay sized backpack. It's very lightweight. It's like a ripstop nylon with some pockets on the side and a little front pocket there, which is great because it will re resist the water. So you don't have to worry about that. And then the little pocket on the inside is where you turn it inside out. But if you're using it as a backpack, it also is a little storage on the inside. So glad I got that. I did get it in purple cause you know me, but my husband was like, why purple? Why not? Exactly. We also got this right here. This uh, is a selfie stick. Uh, we don't normally take these with us when we go into the parks, but we decided we were gonna get one because this one is Bluetooth, uh, so we can take pictures through the phone. And here it is. It actually telescopes very long. More, more long than I thought. And then right here, on the bottom is the remote for the Bluetooth. It also comes with a holder for your phone on the top and a little charging uh, thing on there, which, I mean, I like it for when we're gonna do the cruise and we wanna take some far away shots. Um, it was fairly inexpensive. I wanna say it was like $17 for a selfie stick. It's very sturdy. And one thing I'm noting is that on the bottom, it's got a port for another camera. Yeah like holder so mm -hmm. if you had a tripod or like a teeny tiny tripod you could attach it to that tripod just have it sit there and use the bluetooth to take a picture of yourself from a distance uh, this is just a little uh container right here for the camera we're actually using to film this on um i it originally is one of those that you can get to put like electronics uh cords and plugs and stuff like that in or even um 
jewelry if you wanted to. So I'm using it to carry my camera so that it doesn't get scratched up. Um, and I have the strap for the camera in there and then put the batteries in there as well. I thought it was something really cute and then that way we could just stick this in our carry-on and yeah. we don't have to worry about it getting like all messed up. This is a necessity for me. I have to have some airflow happening on me at all times uh, when I'm sleeping and because we have an inside cabin uh, I feel like it's just it might be kind of hot so this is really awesome it's a chargeable fan I do have to put this in my carry-on because it has a lithium battery so I just you turn it on and it's actually three speeds and it is very let me show you it is really powerful it, we've been using this thing occasionally when we've been doing waxes and it goes we drop like 50 degrees in a few minutes. It's so It's good. really awesome. I also have a little light here on the end in case you need that kind of a thing. So I am, I think this is great. This actually wasn't a lot either. This was like probably $10. Yeah. And if you're one of those kinds of people that needs a fan when you sleep, go ahead, comment down below because you know, mm. we're your kind of people. We both need that. Yeah. All right, then I have this bag. This is actually one of those bags that you use when you have, um, like a bathing suit, you know, to keep your wet inside. Um, and I, right now I have not filled up with everything that I'm going to take, but I do have our Sony action cam. We take this when we go out to film vlogs. Um, and it has a waterproof case on it. And then it has this flexible little tripod that we can either use to wrap it on things or we just hold it like this, or we can also take it off and just use it by itself. No big deal. I also have this, which is a uh, some earbuds, just regular earbuds, because I do have some wireless ones I'm taking, like Bluetooth ones, but I'm also taking these as a backup, just in case. Yeah. You never want to be without on the cruise, because getting a new one is going to be expensive. So true. All right, so this here is a 31 bag, and it is chock full of stuff. This is uh, pretty much like a go bag when it comes to electronic stuff or things we need for the cabin itself. This uh, little ipsy bag right here has inside of it something that we found in our laundry room that we totally forgot we had. And we're like, we're gonna take this to the cruise. Walkie talkies. Yeah, the, <laughs> they've been on my uh, bug out bag for this whole time. Yes. And when we moved the bug out bag into the Laundry room, uh, that's where it came from. Now, normally you can take the your phone and use it as a messenger. However, my phone tends to die very fast. So we thought it would be also be a good idea just to take these. We are traveling with some, um, like, teenagers. I would say they're out of high school. But, they, you know, they probably would find it interesting to use this as well. So we are taking that along with us just in case. Good idea. Yes. We also have these that I got. These are uh, waterproof phone holders. I have the straps somewhere else, but this is just for me and my husband to put our phones in if we're going out to the pool or if we decide to do an excursion, uh, but probably is needed. And then this right here is a travel clock for the room. I know, again, you can use your phone, but we decided we are going to get a little travel clock just in case. It's really small and takes up barely any room. So yeah, travel clock. This I got because I've always wanted one. Oh, yeah. This is a solar <laughs> phone charger. It does not need the sun to charge. You can also charge it through the wall, obviously. But I needed another phone charger, something that would charge relatively fast for my phone. And so I got this, and it comes with like a little little chargey thing here. But I think this is so cool. So it's a, it's a battery with a solar charger. Yes. That's it takes awesome. a very long time to charge solar, like... For it, for the sun to charge it, it does take a long time. But, yeah. It also, I think this came with, yeah, this came with the solar charger. It's a USB light. I just threw that in there oh. in case we might want it. This right here may seem weird. But it's a set of four magnetic hooks. Oh. Just like this. We use this on the walls of our cabin since they're all magnetic. They're all magnetic so we can put like, um, if we have a sweater or if we have a bag, we can just stick that right on the hook in the wall of the cabin and it's really easy access if we're just going out the door. Just hit, I saw that on a video somewhere. I thought that was such a genius idea. 
Okay, and then the last of stuff that we have in our um, electronic stuff is this hub right here. It has uh, four plugs and then it has four USB outlets on the outside. Plus we got a either 20 it's a 25 foot extension cord because at in princess cruises uh, they only have one set of outlets and it's along the desk so what we're going to do is plug in the hub so that we can charge all of our electronics at the desk and then the extension cord is going to go to our bed because both my husband and i sleep with cpaps so we need to be able to plug it in next to the bed and not next to the desk so that's why we got an extension cord as well um which i think is going to end up being handy for us anyway even yeah. not on the cruise Next we have this, which I got from my friend Megan. Um, I think it's originally from the Sonia Koshik collection at Target, but it's one of those hanging toiletry bags. Oh. And I was gonna buy one, but then I found this one. I was like, I don't need to buy one. So right in here, there's not a lot in here because basically what I'm gonna do is I have my 311 bag for the plane. And once I get to the hotel after our flight, I'm going to redistribute a lot of the stuff. So I have things I need for the cruise that are not necessarily all liquids that I can take with me on my carry-on. And then I've got this. So in here I have some acetaminophen tablets. I've got all of our lanyards for the cruise. Um, and I've got a little thing of Advil, which you'll see I have more in my other bag. And then this comes off, this snaps off. So if you ever need anything, you just take it right off. Okay, and then the second section here, I have my uh, toothbrush and razor, and I don't have any shaving cream right now because I need to get some stuff. Um, these right here are called the Travel On Laundry Soap Sheets, which we bought um, after, I think we were watching a Jam Beauty 89 video where she has these when she went to Europe so she could do some sink laundry. And I thought that's a really great idea. So we got some of those and then I have a little travel brush, although I'm taking another brush and comb besides this one, I, that's just, in case. And then down here there's another little zipper pocket. And I have this. This is the Maui Moisture Color Protectant and Sea Minerals Heat Shield Mist. I just got this from Ulta yesterday when I got my hair done because um, I was looking for a really good heat protectant and I love the way this smells so I'm just putting that straight in here. Um, this is a couple things I'm not really going to show you because you'll have to see it in our February wax milk video, but I made up some room fragrance and body fragrance for us to take on the cruise uh, with some sense that we are premiering on our February box. So I'm going to put this actually in here and because they are going to be checked, they're not going to be in my carry-on because they are... Uh, not labeled <laughs> the way that they're supposed to, so I'm sure it'd be questionable trying to get it through security. Yeah. And the very last thing I have in here is my KT tape, which I do need to put in some scissors, um, but this is for my knee. When I walk long distances, it acts almost like a knee brace. It kind of keeps all my, my muscles and everything working so that I can actually walk longer distances, even though I need a cane in order to do it. Uh, because of my arthritic knee, I have to use this. So I just stuck that right in there as well. So that is what is in the hanging bag. All right, this is my 311 bag. And if you've ever flown anywhere, uh, the the 311 is something that you will understand. So basically what 311 means is you're allowed three ounces for one person in one quart bag. Okay, so 311. Um, this bag right here, I did get on Amazon and it is definitely a quart bag, but it's huge. You can fit so much stuff in this. So I, I just keep, there's still room. <laughs> I, I just took a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go through what I am putting in this bag for the flight. Uh, the first thing I have is this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask that I definitely need for my hair. I have the Pure Moist Opti Free uh, Contact Lens Solution and Contact Lens Case. I was looking for an eye cream, so I got this Acure eye cream. Um, it's only one ounce, so it is perfectly fine. I also have these, this, it's for cleaning my brushes, um, and it is 1.7 fluid ounces. This is just an Ulta Beauty brand for clearing my, cleaning my brushes, and I also got um, some of these wet ones as well not just for the brushes but also because people had been telling us when you get to the room make sure you wipe it down because they don't have a lot of time to clean in between the last cruise and yours so just you know the phone or the doorknobs just 
wipe it down. Be safe. And then I also have these. Um, I always carry these around and use them, although I heard the Cruise does also have their own shampoo, and it's just the Garnier Hold ones. I have a bunch of samples of them, so I'm going to be uh, keeping that as well. And then I have the Neutrogena Makeup Remover wipes in here. I should have enough. There's seven. We'll see if I have enough. I might need to get another one. I don't know. Um, this is the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. I'm using this as a body wash, although you can also use it to clean your brushes if you need to. Yesterday, I just picked up this toner from Ulta. This is the Mario Badescu facial toner because uh, I needed a toner and I was going to make my own, but then I just did not have time. And then I have some medications. I've got a, an Advil, I've got an Aleve, and then I've got some other little herbal medication that I take for various ailments. Um, yes. I've got toothpaste. This is the Colite Cavity Protection. I do not use this normally. I usually use Tom's but I can't find a travel size Tom's toothpaste, so I'm gonna have to use this instead. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Micellar, well, it's not micellar water, but it's a makeup remover um, that I'm taking along with me as well. I have some First Aid Beauty products. This is the face cleanser, and this is the Ultra Repair Hydra Sleeping Cream. Um, so that I can put that on my face before I go to bed. You know, skincare is very important. If you guys have not tried this one, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, this stuff is, is amazing. After I tried this, I got it in, uh, I believe a Sephora bag, and after I had tried it for a little while, I was like, I really need a full size, and the full size is like $20, but let me tell you guys, it is worth it. And Marshall got me a Sephora gift card for Christmas, and that's what I bought. I bought the full size of this. So I had enough of this small size that I'm taking it with me. You put it on at night, and it will make your lips so nice in the morning. It's awesome. I've got the Skin Iceland Eye Cream. I have, this is some lip scrub that I believe I got from... Pretty for your, f no, it's not pretty for your face. It might be Sorenzo, maybe. I have nail polish, so I've got this Pacifica one in pink metal, which is like my current favorite right now. And I've got like a little Essie top coat. And then the last thing I have in my bag is a Dramamine because you can't go on a cruise without your Dramamine. And that is basically what I have in the bag. We're gonna do an entirely other video on my makeup. <laughs> because it's not and it won't be a long video I'm not taking a lot but I did want to show you all of these things so that you could get kind of an idea of things that are are accessible to you if you're going traveling and you know how to pack them especially if you are uh, doing carry-on only the, the this bag right here is a lifesaver for your liquids gels mm -hmm. all that jazz that's yes. Cool. If you have any other tips, please leave them below so that we can maybe uh, utilize them in a different travel video. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye bye.